I like how it's focused on your head. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and welcome back to a charming adobo. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just gonna do a quick little update on how Jason's been doing. And we kinda wanted to break down um, the symptoms a little bit more, just for education wise, for those who are out there looking for this type of information. And so, I don't know, we thought we would just talk about it. Oh boy, you're a bundle of talking today, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in our last videos, uh, we kind of addressed some of Jason's symptoms, and I, one of the ones that I want to bring up today is uh, probably one of the ones that's driving me the most nuts, and I like to call them the Jimmy Legs. <laughs> you think there's a better name for it? That sounds about right. About right? Okay. So basically, uh, a lot of times when people have Lewy body, um, they have tremors or shaking and that kind of thing um, when they sleep or um, they have REM sleep cycle disturbances. And so uh, Jason's legs have really taken off and every time he's sleeping, they just like that. Um, I think to the point where like you wake yourself up with it. Sometimes. Sometimes. Or sometimes he'll want to come out here and sleep on the couch. He said that if he presses it against the sofa. Feels like it slows it down. One time Jason was watching TV and um, Explain how your legs kind of started doing it while you were watching TV and you didn't really enjoy that. Well, so when it doesn't really happen when I'm awake very often, but when I'm relaxed and maybe about to fall asleep or, you know, relaxed, you're, you know, it's mostly my left leg. Sometimes it's my right leg, but it's just a, um, just all of a sudden it's a, it's a short spasm of like five bursts of just, j -j 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 and then it stops. That's that's what it does. Yeah. But in his sleep, it does that, stops. Does that, stop, And it does it just constantly all night. So if I don't get to sleep before he starts doing that, it drives me nuts. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. So we've experienced um, some new symptoms since we saw you last month. And, um, and I think, I don't know, it was pretty painful and kind of scary. It hurt. Yeah. Um, Muscle rigidity is um, a symptom of Lewy body, and basically, Jason's muscle like will pull really tight, and it like pulls his hand to where he can't. Why don't you describe it? You went through it. It's like a gigantic Charlie horse. <clears throat> can't move your hand. It's very painful, and it it like pulls crimps it in. Up and yeah, it's yeah, it's not fun. Um, and it would do it, and then it relaxed, and then it did it again, and then it relaxed, and then it finally went away. Yep. So um, that was not really, it was kind of, not scary, but it was just something new and it was like, oh great, what do, what do we do for this? And so I read up on it and we're prepared for next time. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> okay, so something I want to discuss that's been, that has really affected our life with this. Um, and it's called executive dysfunction. And it's basically, Jason's ability to problem solve and have logic, a logical thought process. And I feel like that, that has affected me personally the most. Um, I'm, I, I'm just going to read really quick, like an example of it, because I feel like that would just give the best thing. It's super tiny, super tiny. Um, an example is a person who was unable to initiate a project to clean his messy basement but who successfully completed the task after his wife provided structure and cues by breaking down the task into parts and providing explicit instructions that focused on one single area at a time. Do you feel like that that's what we have to do in our lives now? Definitely. Especially since I've got the basement. I thought this was a perfect example because he has our basement so out of control and messy right now and I can't figure out a thought process and so, um, I think it's because I've noticed watching him, um, he gets started and then he gets completely overwhelmed and then he just doesn't even know what to do. Like, why don't you explain that a little bit? That's, you know, the, in the past multitasking and projects were just easy. They came second nature and, you know, stacking your thought process along and this goes to that and this goes to that. And 
seeing the big picture and putting it together was no big deal. Now it's, okay, I need to do this one thing, but I'm overwhelmed by the whole project. So then I'm just like analysis paralysis and I stop and don't even know what to do and then get overwhelmed. And then he doesn't want to complete it. And yeah. then it's just left like that. And I'm like, okay, so I'm like, how about today you do this and like, try and make it a small little thing and it, I think it helps him focus. Um, it still takes him a really long time to do one little thing that before when he used to just be like, shh, 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 shh. I mean, yeah, this, this man could multitask like nobody's business. <laughs> and you've got a lot of forums that Leslie participates in. A lot of people that have this seem to struggle with the same thing and it's either, you know, they start hoarding things or um, just, you know, it's your mind breaks down, stops, and then freezes on something and you can't move on. Yes. So. He gets very, um, I'm not, it's not obsessed, but he just becomes like fixated with one thing and then he'll be hooked on that and I can't get the, I, and this is where the illogical thinking, I can't get him to like redirect and it takes a while. He will eventually redirect, but then he re usually re redirects to something else. So, um, it's just... This is not his character. This is not his personality. He's never really been like this before. So that mm -hmm. it makes it difficult to kind of navigate. The communication back and forth, and we've worked on a, a code word, something she, as a caregiver, I need her to stop me and get me to realize that I'm doing something illogical or I need to take a break, refocus and listen because I will be stubborn. Others that have this are probably stubborn and they need to understand that, okay, your thought process is broken at the moment. Redirect, either stop or listen to someone who can see the situation from another perspective and help you refocus. Um, but I I, no, I think that's a really good example. I feel like everybody needs to remember that there are different stages of this and we are we might not be in the same stage that you are and right now I can still get Jason to refocus. Um, I do believe that in the future I won't be able to. I think it's getting a little harder and harder and like he tells me the other day, like you just have to tell me, just yell at me or whatever. But that doesn't, you know, that, who wants to do that? You know, that doesn't feel like it's helping anything, but I do want to just like bang him upside the head. <laughs> so that makes it hard. But, and I feel like, oh, this is, this, this drives me nuts. There's such a misconception where I feel like people think that because you have dementia, you sit in a chair all day and you just like, you know, but they don't realize that it, with Louis body, it's a constant changing of what his attention span and what he's going to be doing and how he's going to be doing. Um, d this past week was a perfect example with sleeping where um, he slept 14 hours w one time. Like he went to bed at like eight o'clock or something like that and then get up till way later the next day. And then, then he'll have days where you know, it's two in the morning and it's like, you need to go to bed. Like he can't, and it doesn't, he could have slept that 14 hours and then he went back to bed pretty early that night. And the sleeping thing can just be, oh, it's very, I feel frustrated by it sometimes. And I know. Or you go to bed at one in the morning and you're back up at four. Yeah. Yeah. He does that quite often. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, so then you would think that maybe, well, that day he's going to be super sleepy. Well, no, then he can completely surprise you and be wide awake and ready to go all day long. And mm -hmm. so I can't figure it out. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason with it, but that's, that's the nature of it. So that, that makes it difficult. You just want to be done. I do. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like. No, subscribe. he's ready hit, to wrap it up. Hit he's that done. ring a ding ding bell. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, wait. We're going to go to these quarterly from now on because this is too much. <laughs> Maybe semi-annually. Semi-annually. I wanted to talk a little bit about how you've been doing in quarantine. I'm fine. It's <laughs> well, change. Well, yeah. Cut my own hair. Yes. To him, um, it hasn't changed much because he doesn't, the, the one store he goes to, Lowe's, is still open. So he hasn't really felt a difference. We are feeling a big difference in the fact that it's um, inhibiting our travel plans. And um, I think that that was making you feel 
ugh. Yeah. Very almost anxious about it, mm -hmm. getting upset about it. Um, Cause you felt like we have a limited time span and you want to get going. Get busy living. Cause I'm going to be dying. No. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Okay. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up now. <laughs> don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hit that ring a ding ding bell for the subscription or notification stuff. And uh, yeah. Peace out. <laughs> Hey, I love you. I love you.